Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm going to uh, air fry five chicken legs. And they're real big, so I sp split them. Like this. I just took a knife and just split it. So they cook faster, because these are huge. Wash my hands. Already been washed and cut like I want them. And I was gonna make just some uh, naked legs, but I want some breading. So this is the breading I'm using. I'm using the butt that chicken, hot and spicy, and the Stan's chicken breading. I mixed them because this is spicy. I just mix them so they're not too hot. But I'm, yeah, I'm still gonna season my chicken. Okay. So let me lower this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Chicken. Just gonna season it a little. I'm already pat it, pat it the chicken as dry as possible after rinsing it. And I wash my chicken, yeah. I'm always washing my chicken and pat it dry. I always use yellow mustard. It's just something I do all the time now. I use it on all the meats I cook. Fish, chicken, ribs, pork chops, steak. take long. Okay, I'm going to use my Crux GG 9 quart Trizone air fryer. This is what it looks like. And I think I'm just going to cook on one side. And it's hanging all kind of ways on this chicken. Previously, air fried some chicken. So, I'm using a breader shaker bowl. You can find this on Amazon. I'll leave the link. Of course, you can use a Ziploc bag or a brown paper sack, like we used to do back in the day.
case I have to use both sides of this tri zone F right here. These legs are huge. I've never split my chicken like this before. The drumsticks. They're so big. I'm going to spray them with some olive oil. That's my oil of choice. You can use any oil you want to use. I like using olive oil. I have uh, grapeseed oil. I have uh, what's the other? avocado oil. But uh -uh. I choose to use um, olive oil because the other stuff leaves a funny taste in my opinion and other people just use the other kind of oil so let's tell me what I like so I'm going to take this off and show you all these are the legs look in here two on that side you can see how I cut the chicken just took a knife and just slid on each side of the the drumstick bone. Okay, I got some olive oil in my Evo oil sprayer, so I'll leave the link to this too. I have several of these. My first one was given to me by Cooking with Doug. I got the silver one, and I saw they had they got purple. I mean, I had purple, I had red and blue. But this is the best brand of oil sprayer. So I've tried the other kind that you pump. And I set that mess back. I'm trying to get all of in here. You're supposed to spray until you don't see no more powdery uh, flour. And this is still less than deep frying. Okay. Okay. We turn it on. Put it on dual mode. The left side, air fry. For, I think I'm going to bump it up to 450. And the right side, air fry. Bump that side up to 450. Oh, y'all can't see. Come on. It ain't matching. And leave it at 20 minutes. And turn it on. And I'll be back when it's maybe halfway through to see whether or not I have to turn it or not flip it okay I'll be back okay the legs are done it actually took 22 minutes at 450 these are some big legs y'all look at that so I'm gonna call these butterfly drumsticks they don't look so pretty but they're gonna taste delicious and the skin the way it folded back it looks like you know pork rinds that's what it looks like there's my butterfly drumsticks thumbnail okay I'm gonna taste it for y'all this is a funny looking chicken leg look at that skin Okay. It's hot. Let's pull it. Let's pull it off a piece. It's 
Nice and tender. I'm going to bite some of the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> you little brat. You little creep. <laughs> okay, come on. You want me on the camera? I found a cute baby. <laughs> you see yourself? We sticking your tongue out at my honeys. <laughs> you want some chicken? It's kind of spicy. He's looking at it too. Oh, I can't kiss my gun on lipstick. Put your tongue in your mouth, little boy. Okay. I want to thank you all for... <laughs> <laughs> You're being rude. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment. And subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bon appetit. Bye. Say bye-bye. You see your mama over there. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> what are you, lizard boy? <laughs> mm. <laughs> bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. This is hours later. And I had some fish in the refrigerator I had thawed out last night. So that's what I got in this basket. That's all we're going to eat. Uh... This is the breading I used, the stands, fish breading. I'm trying to get out of my shadow. Where did I get it? I got it from Pete's Fresh Market. I put it in here. This is my breader shaker bowl, which I got from Amazon. So I got some more pieces in here. Uh, this is the seasoning I put on my. Oh, rinsed off fish and of course my yellow mustard so now I'm getting ready to spray it with some oil with my Evo oil sprayer got it from Amazon I'm going to leave the link for the breader bowl and the oil sprayer that's the bread bowl. I got it from uh, Amazon also. Okay. I'm using my Crux GG Extra Large. No, it's not. Crux GG 9 Quart Tri Zone Air Fryer. I'm going to use the dual mode because I'm going to use both sides. Left side, air fry. It sets itself for 400 for 20 minutes. So now for the right side, air fry. It set itself for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. I'll start. And I will be back and show y'all the finished results. Y'all ain't got no air fryer yet. Get one. Okay. So I put mine to good use. I got a bunch of air fryers. And the one I like best is the one I happen to be using at the time. Because they all cook well. But this one cleans up extremely well. Okay, I'm done. Okay, y'all, my fish is done. Let me plug it. Push it back. Let's have it. I'm not going to even put it on a platter like I usually do. Uh, it won't stay on there but half a second. So, I'm about to get my eat on. Me and Walt about to get our eat on. Because we had to share them five legs with Amber. Okay. So 
thumb, thumbnail. Okay. I'm not going to do no taste test. But I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a nice comment. And subscribe to my channel. And what looked the best? My chicken legs or my fish? Because I'm going to put these two videos together. Okay. The chicken legs. They look hurt, but they tasted good. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Bon appetit. Bye.